Okay, I'd like to call the meeting of the Board of Selectmen uh, uh, to water uh, of uh, Wednesday, uh, December 18th, uh, 2019. Uh, please join us in a pledge of allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I, I like to start, well, it's kind of a sad, I got to start this way, but uh, Francis DiPolo there, he, he was the head of the M MTA, he was a resident of West Virginia, he passed away. I'd like to have a moment of silence. All right, thank you very much. Uh, our other selectman there, he, he cannot be here tonight there, uh, and so... Uh, we will be uh, Anthony uh, Kennehan, so uh, uh, it'll be Denise and I. And I'm going to move the agenda around, or I'll go directly to our common vehicle's license there, because the other two uh, have not uh, read. Application for common vehicle's license for K1 Partners, LLC, DBA, New York, Pizza, located at 271 East Center Street, Family Pillar, Inc., DBA, New York, Pizza. Okay. So, what's a, actually uh, you want to do up there? It's a change. It's a change of. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a change of ownership. Um, it no. was Pillar Corp before uh, doing business as New York Pizza. Um, yeah. We kind of transitioned it. We've been there for 14 months, but um, we transitioned through uh, Pillar formally. Uh, we're applying for a change of ownership now. Yeah. Uh, but Flourish and myself. Uh, and our staff have been there for 14 months, so if you stop by, maybe, you know, with familiar faces. No, if you haven't right. stopped by, stop by, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some pizza, salad, yeah, subs. Right. Uh, yeah. We make a mean pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any questions, uh, Denise, of, of this thing? No, I don't have it's any questions. It's not a public hearing, it's just a change. Just change. a change of ownership. No, I don't have any questions. Yeah, that's not okay. Uh, okay, is there a motion to uh, approve this? I'll make a motion to approve. Okay, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good luck. Thank you. Good down in. <laughs> Go down there and eat a lot of pizzas. Good luck. Good luck. We'll come back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're going to move on to application for common vehicle's license for West Center Street, HDLLC, GBA, Honeydew Donuts, located at 475 West Center Street, formerly 475 West Center Street, uh, CORP, GBA, Honey Donuts, and so. Yes. Tell exactly what you're going to do. So my name is Greg Goldman. I'm the owner. Yeah. Um, I purchased four Honeydew franchisees. Uh, West Bridgewater was one of the locations from a previous owner. So again, similar to the pizza place, yeah, right. a change of ownership. Uh, we took over on June 13th. Sitting with me is the uh, general manager who's been with the Honeydew for 10 plus years and been the general manager for these four stores. We'll continue in that function. Um, and so it's simply a change of ownership. Okay, do you have any questions? No. So if anybody wants good donuts and good pizza, they're both here? So, uh, go for dinner and then go for breakfast the next morning? Okay. Okay, okay. okay uh, is there a motion to approve this? Motion to approve. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You're on your own. It doesn't take too long, did it? Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks for coming in, and good luck, and we'll be able to see you. Don't be disrespectful, but we're going to leave, if you don't mind. Oh, no, feel no, free. no. Feel free. That's You're fine. Feel free. You want to leave? You want to stay? No, this, this, to you. Isn't a, this isn't a bride because you've already agreed, but come by for a free coffee. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, you. It's yeah. very yeah. nice of you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Happy holidays, yeah. everybody. Thank you. Nice meeting Good luck. Best wishes to you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Have a good night. Exactly. Okay. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Eldon. Okay. Take care of yourself now. Good luck. Okay. As now we go through the agenda. Of the oh, Pat, you, you, you got here, huh? Is it slippery out there? Or? I don't know. The traffic is pretty bad. Okay. It's not slippery. Though. Yeah. Heavy traffic. Well, we'll just do a few more here, and then we we'll wait. Right. To, wait. Wait to. Uh, uh, Mary Wallen gets here. Yeah, yeah, she's going to be a little bit late. Uh, and the police officer, uh, they have a swearing in that's been going to 7.30. Uh, 
And uh, the patrolman interviews, uh, uh, they're being canceled because they're looking at, at, at the background checks, and we'll be putting that on at a, at a future agenda. Okay, and that brings us down to a vote on license renewals, entertainment, public amusement, class one, two, threes, garage repairs, and common vehicles license. So, Mr. Chairman, everything is in order as normal at this time of the year. We're still waiting on a couple of pieces of paperwork and one or two final inspections. So I would just ask that the board, if it's so inclined, is to approve all licenses as presented to you, uh, recognizing that it is subject still to final inspections and to any final documentation. Uh, one thing, just in full transparency, is that a couple of the facilities changed their hours in a minor way from last year to this year. For example, some of them were open eight to four last year, chose to reopen nine to five. We reflected that in the new license, but we provide the board a memo so that way you know what those changes are. But other than that, there's nothing substantial. Yeah, we, we and Denise looked through them and we made some corrections on, the, on them already on the, okay. on the licenses, so they were taken care. Okay, there any questions, uh, Denise, on this there? Is there a motion to approve? Uh, uh, all, all the uh, annual license renewals. Yep. I'll make a motion to approve contingent on the remaining final inspections and whatever other final issues need to be resolved. Okay. I'll second the motion. Uh, if there's no other questions, all, all in favor? Aye. Aye, so ordered. Hi, Annie. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. You know, that's going to be delayed until I think about 7 30. Yeah, I know. Okay, so, so you, you do know. That's that town clerk that just came in. Okay. So now we'll move to be a, a vote on board selectman uh, FY21 budget message. Yep, so, um, so we're starting the FY 2021 budget season. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, so with that said, we, are, we will be presenting to you in the month of January once we have all of the information back about potentially moving town meeting to May. Uh, in the meantime, as we do every single year, is that we send a budget message out from the Board of Selectmen communicating what type of message you're looking to communicate as they uh, turn in their budget requests. Normally, um, historically, uh, we have done a level services budget. Selectman Kennehan, when he informed me earlier tonight that he was not going to be able to make the meeting, he had asked that we also um, do vote for a level services budget but obviously he's not here, so only the two of you would vote. So if you could just direct me as to what type of message you would like me to send to the department heads, I will do so accordingly. Yeah, I, I, I would like to see uh, remain a, you know, uh, a level uh, level service. Uh, but I talked to Ken Han tonight. He did call me and said he couldn't be here, so he did not inform me that. So it just uh, I repeated what you just said. Okay. So, I'm okay with a level services budget, but in prior years, when we've asked for a level services budget, I've seen new services introduced into the budget, and the budget just grows. So, I don't think it's fair to say a level funded budget, because that's impossible. You have contractual increases, and there's other needs in the town that need to be taken care of so i i get i don't know how quite how to word this into the message but i would like to see the department heads proceed with a level services budget and be mindful of their overall budget and to look for ways to become more efficient and possibly um, if not reduce their budget overall look for ways to save the town some money. Okay, okay I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good statement. Okay, um, anything else on it? Nope, I would just ask for a vote. All right, uh, is there a motion to the effect? Motion. Yeah. I move. All right, I'll second. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. All right, so voted. Okay, uh, vote on Scott Golder's vacation carryover request. So per his contract, he is looking to carry over two vacation days. I have signed it. And per his contract, the Board of Selectmen also have to ratify. So I would ask for a vote to allow him to carry over two vacation days. Motion to carry over vacation days. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, approve the minutes of November 20th, 2019. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second it. All in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Except to review the meeting minutes of December 4th, 2019. Motion to accept the minutes for review. Yeah. Uh, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So ordered. Uh, uh, why the contract for relocation of a transfer station building on, uh, and to uh, uh, Soviet engineer and this is the transfer station? Uh, and then uh, uh, I guess it's been reviewed and uh, uh, reviewed the contract and also, you know, uh, uh, to uh, Soviet engineering. Uh, yep, so we went back to, so Mr. Chairman, uh, we went to town meeting this past year. We secured $18,000 in funding so that way we could hire an engineer in order to be able to begin the process of replacing the building at the transfer station. We contracted, we contacted a number of engineers, many of them who honestly couldn't do it for the 18,000. And, um, and then Mr. Silva gave us a, a, um, an estimate of $18,000. So with that said, um, the article gives Chris as DPW director the authority to be able to sign and execute the contract, but only the Board of Selectmen can actually award the contract. So as a result, I would be asking you to award the contract to Mr. Silver for $18,000 for said services. Any questions on that or, or is there a motion to approve that? So the, the engineering plan is for moving, relocating the building as well as for the septic design. Is that included? That's the intent, yes. Uh, again, the, the unfortunate part is, is that if it turns out that there's more engineering that's needed, we're gonna to have to go back to town meeting at that point. The hope is, is that we're going to be able to do minor adjustments with the building and or the septic system. Can I make a motion to approve the contract? I'll second it. Any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye, so voted. Okay. So uh, I think the, the other thing is, uh, while, while we're here, the communication reports from boards, commissions and town officials, Letter from the school committee appointment of the new superintendent. That's, that was a letter that was sent out. So I think everybody knows about it now. It was in the newspaper. Even if nobody buys the newspaper, it seems to be today, you know. It was online. Online, too. It was online. Too. It was okay. online. So, so, okay. All right, now. Well, I think we, I'd like to congratulate Mr. Bodwell. Yeah, and, he, and he's the one that's uh, going to be the new superintendent. Right. Yeah, yeah. Very good. All right. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to move there. Uh, Pat is here, uh, Summer, and uh, Mary Walden. You look very nice, and both of you are here tonight. And uh, uh, we ask you both to come down here. And uh, because of, uh, you know, for years, uh, you know, I've been working with Pat, and he's done a lot for West Bridgewater and all the communities. I think there's 17 of us now all the way down to Plymouth. And, uh, and Pat is one of these guys that... Uh, is out there 24 hours a day, and he's been figured in just about everything from our senior center. And we were looking at years ago for a grant writer. We finally got him out of out of the Oak Island Planning Council. And a lot of people don't know what we do, but uh, whether it's traffic lights down here, or you know, runs a, many, many, many uh, 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 functions that we do. And he's he's a great help for the for the communities and for the area. And at his, at his banquet there, to tell you the truth, I didn't have anything to give him, so I didn't get up and I didn't say anything. So we're here tonight, uh, so, you know, which I will be asking Mary Walden, she's the new uh, executive director, and I'll be asking maybe for her to say a few words. But first, I'd like to deal with Pat. And I have a proclamation for you, Pat, uh, from the Board of Selectmen, West Virginia, Massachusetts, whereas Pasquale, Pat, Samarella, uh, Migrated as a child to the city of Brockton from Italy, where he was eight years old and is a graduate of Brockton High School. He earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in political science, public administration from Northeastern University, and hold a Master of Arts degree in urban affairs and planning from Boston University, whereas Pat joined Oak Colony Planning Council in 1977, where he served as a transportation planner a transportation program manager and assistant executive director. Pat was then promoted to executive director in 2001 and served in that capacity for the past 18 years. 
where his path has served with distinction on many area boards, including the Metro South Chamber of Commerce, the Plymouth County Development Council, the Plymouth Area Chamber of Commerce, the Southeastern Economic Development Corporation, and the Mass High uh, uh, Brocken. And whereas Pat, many years of service, has had a direct positive impact on the town of West Bridgewater. Therefore, it be resolved. We, the Board of Selectmen of the town of West Bridgewater, do hereby proclaim December 18, 2019, as Pasquale Caramella Day in recognition of Pasquale Saramella for his outstanding accomplishments. We extend to him our deepest appreciation for all his dedicated work and wish him well in all his future endeavors. In witness, therefore, it, of the great seal of the town of West Bridgewater, fixed the 18th day of December 2019. Board of Selectmen, Ellen F. Marrera, Chairman, Denise Ray, Vice, and Anthony uh, Kinahan, Clerk. Pat, this is all yours, and we're going to thank you again. And, uh, for, for a great thing. We're certainly going to miss you. Thank you. I appreciate all your okay. support over the years. The Board of Selectmen has been great. Working with the Old Colony Planning Council, and I'm sure Mary's going to continue working with the communities okay. and helping out the communities as much as they can. Really appreciate it. I'm honored to receive such an award. Thank you so much. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Now, of course, I want, to, I want you to meet uh, Mary Walden, the new... Uh, OCPC uh, Executive Director. Mary is, uh, uh, we choose Mary from a roster of 60, and I was, I was part of that. Uh, hi, how are you guys, the family? Losers? Okay. Uh, and uh, where uh, I look forward now to, to see Mary, and, and I'm quite sure there's going to be a few changes up there, but but Mary will, I'm quite sure, do a good job uh, uh, at Pat's uh uh, party we had up there. Uh, I, I talked to the ex uh, uh, mayor of Brockton, their units, and uh, Mary was the executive director. And he said uh, to me, and I said, Yeah, I understand. I don't know how he found out. You, you, had, uh, you were appointed Mary. And I, and I said, That's true. He says, Well, listen, I was the mayor, but Mary did the work. <laughs> so, so, Mary, you want to say a few words and welcome to the West Bridgewater and hope we be. Be on the council or work with you, and and the same will continue the great well, work that you do. Good evening, and apologies for being a little bit late. Oh, that's fine. From, uh, I thought when when the police were coming in the room that may have seen me come through the <laughs> town. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they are really big shoes to fill. Pat has been with um, OCPC for 42 years. Um, amazing work. The staff is amazing work. Um, it is not Brockton-centric. Um, I've worked with Dave when I was working at Bridgewater State University, prior to that working on an economic development, prior to that working in the State House, prior to working with that with mass development. Um, I've had many opportunities to work in different avenues, and I know West Bridgewater's potential, and I know that working with Dave and the Select Board, um, it will be my honor. Um, but more importantly, um, having a, a Pasquale Charmella Day um, today is truly um, an amazing day. Um, you don't hear of people's longevity other than you. Um, <laughs> oh, <selection>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, so what comes with me is a little humor, I guess. But but right, we need to respect that established history right. and that experience, and not throw it away, but yet enhance it and then look for ways that we can take the newcomers and the millennials and everybody else and really bring them in and and um, make this region, this this region that Pat has been at the helm and Dan Crane prior to that. Um, I believe I'm the first female um, th of the organization and, but that's just, that's just a female. There's work that needs to be done and I look forward to working with the select board, the town, um, administrator and um, in the region. So thank you for the opportunity. Well, thank you, Mary, because I'm quite sure uh, that uh, you, you get right in there. I know there'll be some changes you probably want to make, but I, I know I was talking to you today, and 
And thank you for the lovely Christmas party you put on there today. Uh, that was a little bit different. We had an ugly sweater contest that Yeah, so you get to play. That's how it is. Um, the select board um, did a pretty good job with the sweater, by the way. Oh, no, you didn't. Uh, uh, okay. Well, you did. Well, that's right, you, you know. Did you have a sweater? Huh? Did you have a sweater? Oh, God, you ought to see the sweater. Yeah, yeah. But I had to give it back to her. You know, oh, my... <laughs> okay. That's how it works. Thank you again, and Thank good luck. Thank you. Look, Thank look you. Forward. Best wishes. Thank nice you. to meet yeah, yeah. you, too. Thank you. Thank you. And, and, Mr. Chairman, if you don't mind, I just wanted to say one thing as well. I just want to say, because I'm not going to have this opportunity to say it again, is I just really want to say thank you to Pat. Um, you know, I've been here now going on my seventh year. We do not, being a small town, we don't have a planner. Most towns do. And because we have to be able to share resources and squeeze a lot more out of few people, is that OCPC has just been a humongous help to myself and to everybody else in the town. No matter when I make a phone call, uh, they always provide the information. Pat, I have texted you and called you plenty of times at night thinking that you're not working. Not only are you working, you're usually in another meeting. So, um, so with that said again, I just really want to say thank you. Oh, I have it. We, because um, I was say, I've worked with Mary. So, um, but but in all honesty, that department is so well run and so helpful, and that only happens with great leadership, which obviously you provided. So again, I really want to say thank you to you, and I have no doubt working with Mary, it will be seamless because I've worked with you in the past, and and I know the person that you are. And again, had great success with you when you were at Bridgewater, and look forward to, to continuing that. But thank, so thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your impact. And Mary. Okay, so maybe we can go right on to. Uh, I'd like to welcome the Canducci family here today. There, so I've known them for many, many years. I mean, they're not strangers to me, and then and the uh, uh, you know the board of selectmen here in the town of West Bridgewater. And uh, we have uh, Annie I, Natalie here to put the swearing in. And uh, so Annie? Uh, are we ready to do it now? Uh, is that everybody here? Or are we waiting for anyone? Anybody else coming there that we gonna wait for? Or? Do you wanna do something? Well, other? so let me ask you, Mr. Chairman, did you, want, are we, did you wanna do it now and then we'll take a recess for pictures or finish the last couple of items? And Doesn't then, matter, you don't, yeah. Your, your choice. Do you mind if you we just go through the, a few more and then the, we can have some and that way they quality time? All right, you want to finish the... I think so, and all right, okay. so, they can have as much time so, as they would okay, like. Okay, so that's what we'll do. So we'll continue. So where we left off, and uh, uh, the superintendent is on there. Public comments. Okay, do we have any public comments? I have one. Oh, boy. I'm a candidate for re-election, so, so you can't get rid of me that easy. <laughs> so I, I, I will definitely be, that's been kind of question been asked and all the same, but tonight I'm going to just reveal uh, that I will be a candidate uh, in April and uh, look forward to uh, keep running this, uh, this community. It seems to be running great. This is a great team up here of the three of us, and I just uh, look forward to do uh, many other things that we have to, uh, to accomplish and just keep this town moving. Okay, and uh, any other public comments out here? Anybody would like to make anything? Okay, uh, I guess if that's not, uh, we'll, we'll show that to the David uh, the Town Administrator, uh, <clears throat> Road Acceptance Policy. Yep, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So real quickly, I just want to let you know that for the past almost two months, I've been working on with Town Council and the Chairman of our Planning Board, Hugh Hurley, a new road acceptance policy for the Town of West Bridgewater. In essence, we're going to have two policies. One is going to be for the way we approve roads that are approved through the planning board in the subdivision process, which ultimately winds its way to town meeting. And the second one is for any other road that exists that has not gone through the subdivision road process. So this is a finished policy. It has been entirely vetted by the planning board's chairman along with town council. Uh, as is our standard practice, I'm asking you to accept it for review this evening, and then I will place it on the next meeting, and at that time I would ask you to accept it unless you have any changes that you would like to make at that Thank time. You. Any questions? Um, no, I'll, I'll make a motion to accept the policy for review. Okay, I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 
Who voted? Okay. Second item is is in reference to New Bedford Waste. This is the company ABC slash New Bedford Waste that handles all of our recycling and solid waste. It's unfortunate because there were a lot of pressures in that environment now, and some people have seen the 60 Minute in our documentary in reference to it. Uh, as the state of Massachusetts continues to close areas that solid waste is able to go to, it further puts pressure on what they're able to use um, for landfills and how they are able to take the waste that we have and be able to process it on their end. As a result, this company, along with some others, have started to increase their prices under a force majeure clause in the, cl in the contract. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you'll recall that a handful of years ago, I spent a lot of time negotiating these contracts with a handful of different firms. At that point, they gave us a really good price, and unfortunately, the environment just changed a little bit. I informed the board at the last a uh, couple of we meetings ago that they had forced us to go from $60 a ton to $75 a ton, and they have now forced us to go from $75 a ton, effective January 1st, to $93 a ton. So as a result, I am now in the process of conducting another statewide survey, or at least in the South Shore survey, to see what other municipalities are using. And if I'm able to get a better price, I'll probably have to exercise a clause in this contract to escape it and to be able to re-sign with somebody else. I'll obviously keep you informed in the meantime. You know, we've always tried to keep it down there. I mean, you know, when, when these increases have come up for us, because I already feel that, you know, people are paying a good size of amount of taxes and they're already paying on the taxes. But now this thing is just uh, going out of control here. And I, I think uh, possibly next year we're going to have to look at this. Uh, and uh, David's going to do some more research on it and, and hope that uh, uh, we can keep it down as, you know, because it's getting a problem to get rid of your waste. As we see on the excess road down up of Copeland Street, they're, they're leaving it all over the place. They're, they're leaving it over here on our west side, uh, up there in uh, Manly Street and all along there. The highway picking the stuff up all the time. They're just getting rid of every, everything. They're not taking nothing. So anyhow, well, we'll just have to face it when it comes and, and look at it and continue working with it and I appreciate what you've done in that area. Uh, yep, and we'll continue to look at it because if we can reduce cost, we will. Uh, next item is, is oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry Dave, yep. can I just ask you a question? Mm -hmm. uh, at one point, I think it was a few years ago, we talked about maybe hauling our own. With the way the prices are escalating from a third party, is there any potential cost savings in hauling our hauling our own? There is not because they have not increased a dollar in our hauling cost. So if we haul it, we still have to pay whatever the going rate is as to where we ultimately dispose it. So it's dispose of it. So it's the disposal rate, not the hauling rate that is, is increased. So it is not to our advantage to do that. Um, well, you're going to continue to dig into it. And I did. Cause you don't know, you know, have much, much more to probably report out. Yep. Um, next is, is Columbia Gas, obviously we're in the winter uh, months, Columbia Gas has informed us that they are expanding their access to an affordable program for people that are low income or meet that threshold. So as a result, I've just placed it on the agenda because 15 to 16 percent of our population is over 65 years old. And if they are watching this and you use Columbia Gas, I want to make sure that this program is available. So if you need assistance, I'm going to read off the phone number. We've already placed it on our website as well, but it's 1-800-688-6160. You can go to ColumbiaGasMA.com, which is their website. Sign up for the program. The program signing up is obviously free. But if you have an opportunity to save yourself some money, please take advantage of that program. Uh, and the last is, it's just an FYI to everybody who's watching as well. Christmas and New Year's happens to fall on a Wednesday this year. So as a result, we have to tweak some of our schedules. Town Hall Council on Aging and the transfer station will be closed on Wednesday. And we close early on Tuesday, the day before. Thursday, the Town Hall and the Council on Aging will be open for regular business. The key is the transfer station, which is normally closed on Thursdays, will now be open on those two Thursdays since Wednesday they were closed, especially knowing at the Christmas season that a lot of people have additional waste to be able to bring. So. Well, thank you. I think that's a good gesture because if one thing about that transfer station, people want to see it open, especially on the, on the holidays, and I think that's a good gesture that uh, uh, this is being done.
They do. So that is my report. And all right. Is there anything? You got anything else to say? But maybe happy. Oh, I wish you ma- Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And happy New Year to all you out there, and uh, good health uh, yeah. for the holiday, and hope that the weather gets a little bit better and a little bit uh, warmer. And uh, you know, because we, the winter started real, real close there, and we looked like we're we getting a good sized bill there for icing and things like that. They see how the way things are going. I, I want mean, to wish you. We're the not best. even. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, we're not even into it yet there, and you see it every day. And uh, you, you know, I think, you know, if I ever got a car, instead of having my my uh, garage fill up with junk, and I'd have a two-car garage there because I'm living in New England and scraping out windows every morning here. Is, you know, I don't have that, uh, you know, turn the key on there. But then you got to wait quite a while for the windows to defrost there. So we're in a real, real <laughs> season this year. Well, anyhow... Uh, Thank you, because uh, I think we had a, a great year here, and uh, you know, you know, I want to thank the, you know, the uh, uh, people that we have working for us and everything else, and, and all that uh, bring it to us. But because without them, we have nothing here. And they're all doing very, very good job for us. Thank you. So thank you, and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Wish you the best on your race next year too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I guess uh, the Conducey family is here and they're waiting the tents up there and uh, it's a great pleasure to, to have them here. And, uh, and maybe we can get Annie up here and uh, yeah, our town clerk for the swearing in. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, James Cundis. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and partially. I will faithfully and partially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. The duties of police officer. The duties of police officer. For the town of West Bridgewater. For the town of West Bridgewater. In accordance with the Constitution of the United States of America. In accordance with the Constitution of the United States of America. In the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. In the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. In the town of West Bridget, Br- sorry, the town of West Bridgewater. In the town of West Bridgewater. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good to see you again, too. To you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. So, Mr. Chairman, if I, I know the family would like to take some pictures, so if, if it's okay with you, I think the right thing to do is, is to adjourn the meeting at this point because we have no more official business to do, and then the family will take pictures with the selectmen. Motion to adjourn. And the family Motion to adjourn. All right. All the way, all right. Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you.